In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your StarPro AZ telescope. Meet StarPro AZ is an excellent beginner's instrument that is designed to observe objects both in the sky and on land. These refracting telescopes are available in 70mm, 80mm, 90mm, and 102mm apertures. Each telescope comes with three MA eyepieces, a 2 times Barlow lens to double your magnification of your eyepiece, a 90 degree erect image diagonal, slow motion control cables, and a red dot viewfinder. Also included with the Star Pro AZ series is a bonus smartphone adapter to easily take images with your smartphone through your eyepiece. You'll be building your astro gallery with amazing astro images in no time. The tripod is the basic support for your telescope and comes pre-assembled. To set up the tripod, spread the legs out evenly and place it on a solid surface. To set the height, loosen the leg lock latch to unlock. Then, slide the inner portion of the leg in or out to your desired length. Repeat for the other two legs. Close the leg lock latch to relock and repeat again for the other two legs. Spread the tripod legs and set the height of your tripod so that you can view comfortably. The accessory tray is integrated into the tripod leg braces and is a convenient place to hold eyepieces and other meat accessories while observing. To lock the tray in place, rotate the accessory tray locking knob clockwise until the lock knob wings align with the tray. The accessory tray in the lock position will add stability to the tripod. To unlock, simply rotate the centered locking knob counterclockwise. The slow motion control cables allow you to make fine adjustments to the pointing position of the optical tube. When viewing objects in the night sky, you will notice that the objects move slowly in the eyepiece. This is caused by the Earth's rotation. Use the slow motion controls to follow, or track, these objects as you observe. Remember that each axis has its own slow motion control, which is independently controlled. To install, attach the flexible cables to the mount. The cables are secure in place with the firm tightening of the thumb screws located at the attachment ends of each cable. Be sure to tighten the slow motion control cable thumb screw so that they are seated against the flat top on the shaft. To attach the OTA, first locate the dovetail mounting rail. Loosen the optical tube attaching knob and place your OTA's dovetail mounting rail flat against the dovetail receiver at its midpoint. With one hand holding the OTA, use your other hand to tighten the optical tube attachment knob clockwise until firm. The included viewfinder has a wide field of view and a red dot to make it even easier to locate the viewing object. To install the red dot viewfinder, slide the viewfinder bracket into the dovetail adapter and lock it in place by turning the single lock knob clockwise. The 70mm Star Pro Easy viewfinder attaches the OTA using two mounting nuts. Remove the nuts, install the viewfinder, and re-tighten the nuts to a firm feel. The erect image diagonal prism reflects the light from the OTA to a more comfortable viewing position. It also corrects the image orientation so that the image is right side up, and correct left to right. To install, slide the diagonal prism into the focuser draw tube. Tighten the draw tube thumb screw to hold the diagonal prism securely. Then, grab the 26mm eyepiece and place into the prism. Tighten the thumb screw to securely hold the eyepiece in place. Be sure to remove the front lens dust cover before observing. Your telescope is alt azimuth mounted, meaning that your telescope moves up and down and from side to side. To move the telescope in a horizontal direction, slightly loosen the horizontal lock knob. Loosening this lock allows your telescope to be moved from side to side. To move the telescope in a vertical direction, or altitude, slightly loosen the vertical lock knob and use the OTA body to make a course adjustment up and down. Once an object is found, Retighten the horizontal and vertical lock knobs. You can then rotate the slow motion controls to make smooth and precise movements and follow an object horizontally and vertically as it moves in the eyepiece. During the day, point the telescope at an easy to find land object such as the top of a telephone pole or a distant mountain or tower. Look through the eyepiece and turn the focuser knob until the image is sharply focused. Center the object precisely in the eyepiece's field of view. Turn on the red dot viewfinder by rotating the large knob under the viewfinder lens counterclockwise. Turn the knob to adjust the intensity of the red dot as desired. Look through the viewfinder. 
Turn one or both of the viewfinder's alignment screws until the red dot is precisely over the same object as you centered in the eyepiece. Then at night, check this alignment on a celestial object, such as the moon or a bright star, and use the viewfinder's alignment screws to make any necessary refinements. When finished, turn off the viewfinder by turning the large knob clockwise until it clicks. When getting the telescope ready to observe, always start with the highest focal length eyepiece to easily find the target before switching to a shorter focal length eyepiece. To attach the smartphone adapter, loosen the phone holder bracket lock knob and rotate the bracket so it is perpendicular. Expand the bracket to fit your phone. You may need to remove your phone case. Make sure your phone is secure and the camera lens is in the middle of the eyepiece mounting ring. Tighten the lock knob so the phone is securely in place. To attach the eyepiece, carefully pull up on the rubber eye cup to remove it. Loosen the eyepiece holder screw to take the eyepiece out of the telescope. Loosen the eyepiece thumb screws and place the adapter on the eyepiece. Tighten the thumb screws and insert your eyepiece with the adapter into the telescope. Find objects and focus the camera to take pictures. Sometimes outdoor elements can cause movement. Set a timer on your phone to help capture a crisp, clear image. With this, your telescope is successfully set up and aligned. Now, it's time for first light. Capture crisp and clear images with your StarPro AZ and enjoy the amazing views.